Hi guys, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moments. Okay guys, it has been a day. I am exhausted, but I am sharing with you a few things today that have been piling up and I need to get to. So don't mind me. I don't have, I've got my hair pulled back. We just had tattoos done. So my hair is pulled back. I don't have makeup on. It's been a whole thing. So don't mind me. Um, we're going to share some stuff. Okay. So we're going to kind of do, um, a, it's kind of a, what do you want to call it? Maybe like a, a potpourri, if you will. Um, a little bit of everything today. So this came, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I was, I, I thought it was Amazon, but it doesn't say Amazon anywhere on the package, which is odd. And it's addressed to my husband, which usually our Amazon account is. And it says that it's premium apparel. So it's clothing. So like maybe it's his costume for Halloween, but in the shipment content section, it says children's clothing pajama. So let's hope if this is his costume, that it's not children's size because I'm pretty sure when I ordered it, it said adult size. So let's start with the mystery bag and go from there. How are you guys doing? Are you having a good day today? Drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on in your life. I should have brought scissors up here, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it is. It's definitely his costume. Oh my God. If this is a children's size, we're going to be scrambling to make his costume work. It says men's. It says men's. So... Don't know. But um, like I said, Halloween's coming out. My daughter's going as Princess Peach. I'm going as Yoshi. And Matthew is going as Mario. So we did get... Woo! This is supposed to be a onesie, which is just seemed to be the easiest way to get a costume because otherwise you have to find all the pieces individually and it was a bit of a struggle. So I'm like, you know what? A onesie, why won't this open? A onesie would be perfect because it's just one piece and it's easy, right? Now sizing is the only thing I was concerned about. Um, I believe I ordered a large slash extra large. I hope it fits. Um, oh yeah, that should fit. Okay, so let's have a peek. So there's a hood, right? So that'd be like his little hat. And then it's super cute. Just, you know, that's it. Mario! And of course, he already has a goatee, so he'll probably, I don't even know if he's going to shave it off and just have a mustache. He might. Um, but there's just blue pajama pants at the bottom there. So super cute, easy costume, right? It just makes sense to do something like that. Wow. The tag says this was $65. We didn't pay $65. I promise you that. Um, this is an official Nintendo licensed product, though. So cool so i'm glad his halloween costume is here because halloween is coming up quickly and if it wasn't going to show up in time we'd have a problem this actually came early uh we did order it on amazon and it did say shipping was going to be when was it the 22nd of october and today is the 15th so it came early so that's nice i'm just going to pop this back in the bag kind of and then he'll try this on when he gets home. He's just out right now with Violet. So I thought I would take advantage of the quiet time and do filming with you guys. Okay, so that's fun. I'm glad that came. Perfect. Let's just stick that over there. Okay, my friend Heather and I went shopping. Yes, we did. And I thought I had bought something else. This is all I have here. I can't remember. Heather, if I'm missing something, let me know. But I think this was it. Um, the only other thing that I bought was some wristbands, which I didn't think was important to show you. So I didn't bring those up.
anyway, we went to a surplus store. There's a new surplus store or newer um, called Shane's Surplus World. And I was like, hey, let's check that out. So we did. And um, I found a couple things. Now, it was interesting. It looked like a lot of um, Costco returns, basically. Um, so it's kind of what I, the vibe I was getting. Uh, some things I would say were priced reasonably. Some things were cheap and some things were still really expensive. So you really got to watch when you go into places like that because it may seem like a really good deal, but you, know, you got to do your research, right? So first thing I bought was we had just run out of Kleenex. I know this sounds funny. We had just run out of Kleenex that morning. I'm like, okay, mental note, got to pick up Kleenex. Guess what, guys? They had Kleenex. <laughs> so I was like, perfect. So this is the Kirkland brand, signature brand, Kleenex. This is a three-ply. Um, this typically sells at Costco in like huge bags of like, I don't even know, maybe 12 of these boxes or whatever. Um, this is, uh, their sticker on here was $2. And I'm like, you know what, whatever. For $2 for a box of Kleenex, I'm not going to get that cheaper at the dollar store. That's fine. So I picked up a box of Kleenex. Now my husband had literally just said, hey, maybe we should replace our cookie sheets because they are getting kind of, you know, you can tell they've been well loved, right? Um, and I'm like, yeah, well, I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Well, guess what, guys? They had cookie sheets. Um, and the brand they had was Nordicware, which is a really good brand. Um, I've never actually, I shouldn't say that. I had a bunt pan that was Nordicware, um, but that's the only thing that I know of that I had. And this is a three piece set. So this is nonstick aluminum. A set of three baking sheets, you get two half sheets and one quarter sheet, which is perfect because those sizes are actually the exact ones that my husband wanted to replace. Now the price on here from the surplus world was $20 for the three pans. They are brand new. Um, they do have on here, you can either do new, slightly used, tested, whatever, right? Um, so they mark what it is. So this was new. These weren't used. Um, I did look these up because my first thought was, Ooh, those are really good price. And I'm like, wait a second, maybe they're not. Um, but I looked them up on Costco.ca and they actually sell for $34.99. So 35 bucks. I'm saving $15. The only difference is like they're obviously they were opened at one time cause they're not wrapped the original way. But other than that, I'm like, you know what? It's fine. 20 bucks. You know, good sheet pans are really expensive. So I did pick those up. And I think, I think they only had this one set. I don't recall seeing any more sheet pans, at least not these ones there. There might've been one more set of them, but I can't remember. Um, so that's all that I got at Surplus World. Uh, my friends, she, again, just so happened, she ran out of chicken broth. And guess what? They had chicken broth, guys. They had, um, I think they were like, what were they, Heather? $1.50, I think, um, for a container of chicken broth. So she picked up some of those. And um, I can't remember what else she picked up. I think that's all she got. But um, yeah, so that was the surplus place, which was great. Then we headed over to a Value Village. And you guys know how... I love Value Village. Um, so as you know, we were redoing our bathroom and I was like, maybe I could do with another little basket or something, right? For my new shelves. And we looked around and I came across one that I thought was absolutely perfect. Look how adorable this is, you guys. It's so cute. It's in really good shape. So it's got kind of the wicker on the bottom. It's got the silver metal. It's got these really cute little light blue beads that you, actually they match my ceiling color behind me. These match my bathroom really nice. It's a really nice size. Um, and I paid $3.99, four bucks, which I thought was a decent price. Um, I don't have to do any repairs on it. I don't have to do any major cleaning on it. It's all in really good shape. 
So I picked that up as well. And that was pretty much it for my shopping, I think. Um, I did pick up just some wristbands for my, my daughter's birthday that's coming up. Speaking of birthdays coming up, guess what? We got a delivery. You guys know, white bag, purple tissue paper, what that means. It's sexy. So I picked this up, and the reason I said speaking of birthdays is my daughter's birthday is tomorrow. I'm giving her the Scentsy Bailey Bunny for her birthday, and I wanted, I ordered it, I, I swear I ordered it with a blueberry cheesecake scent pack, but when I got it, it was aloe water and cucumber scent pack, and I'm like, that's not what I ordered. So whatever, not a big deal. It's fine. I'm sure if I would have mentioned it to Laurel, she probably would have fixed it for me. But honestly, I completely forgot about it. Um, and then I'm like, you know, I'll just order. I'll just order another scent pack. So I ordered, and I hope it's in here, uh, the blueberry cheesecake to go along with her gift. So that's in here. And then there'll be uh, something else. So she always sends little thank you cards. She's super sweet like that. Thank you for your Scentsy order. Your order helped Nicole get some amazing Scentsy rewards. That's nice. So um, my friend Heather's friend Nicole had an online Scentsy party, and I was going to order this stuff anyway. So I'm like, I might as well order it through Nicole's party, and that way it might help her get some free stuff too, right? Because that's what you do. So that's good. Here's my invoice that I will pay. I got to say... This is probably the cheapest invoice I have had from Scentsy in a very long time <laughs> because I order a lot. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Okay, yes, here it is. The Blueberry Cheesecake Scent Pack. Um, this, I mean, you can use this for a lot of different things. Uh, they do go in the Scentsy Buddies, um, but you can also just put them like in any drawers or whatever, gym bags, linen closets, you know, hang them in your closet, whatever. It just helps to give a little scent to make things uh, fresh and all that. So I got that. Yes, I got a warmer. Christmas is coming, you guys. I picked up the Gingerbread Man warmer. How cute is he? Now, they did have this last year uh, for sure. They probably even had it a year before that or a year before that. I don't know when this guy came out, but I actually was looking at it last year, but I ended up buying some other ones last year and I didn't get him, but I'm like, I got to get him. Oh, he's so cute. I'm not going to put it together for you guys because if you've been watching my videos, you know how these work, but I will show you what he looks like. Oh my God. So it looks like a little mug, and there's just a little gingerbread man just relaxing. Looks like he's relaxing like a little hot tub, right? Like once you put the wax in there. Oh my god, that is adorable. The design does go all the way around. Like, look at the detail. Like, oh, so cute. You know, that's where the plug-in goes to plug it into the wall. I do like to swap these out. Um, I don't know. I was going to put this in my kitchen. I think I will. I'm like, I could put this in my bedroom because I have one up here too. But this is kind of a kitchen one, right? With the mug. So I'll probably put this in my kitchen. And then the one I had last year in my kitchen, I'll probably move that one up here to the bedroom. Because everything's going to have to be Christmas coming up, right? How does this go back in there like that? So that was what I ordered. Now I thought I saw a little thank you gift in here. Let's just do a quick check. Okay, there is a little thank you gift. Let's see. Oh, yum. She knows me. She knows me. There's a scent circle in here, and it's my favorite. Open up. Don't you hate when you're trying to get into a bag because you're really excited and then it's like, nope, not going to let you in. It's like, let me in. I want my prize. Awesome. So my scent circle is in a vanilla mint. I love vanilla mint. My friend Heather, it's not that she hates it. She's just not a huge fan of it. So she actually just gave me 
like uh, the rest of her bar of vanilla mints because she wasn't loving it. And I'm like, oh, I love vanilla mint. I love putting it in the bathroom. It's such a fresh, cool scent. It's so good. Mm, so good. So good. Okay. And then of course she gave me another little cotton cleanup, which I use all the time. And then she gave me a uh, sample of cashmere and corduroy. Um, I think she gave me this sample last time. I did um, warm this and it was okay, but I wasn't a huge fan of it. I can't remember if I gave this to my friend Heather to try or not. A lot of times we swap Scentsy between the two of us, or if there's a scent I don't like, I'll give her. If there's a scent she doesn't like, she gives me. I can't remember. Heather, did you try cashmere and corduroy? You might have had like a super, super small sample of it in that little sample pack I gave you. Um, but if not, and you want to try this, let me know and I'll set it aside for you. So that was my little thank you gift, which was super nice. And I think that's all I want to share with you on this video. We're already uh, past the 15 minute mark. I'm trying to get my videos a little shorter to make them a little more enjoyable for you guys. So as always, if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. I really appreciate all the support you guys give me. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. I'll be coming back at you guys very soon with one more shopping haul. See you soon, guys. Bye.